Hi there, welcome to the channel. It's 2020 November and we're in our second lockdown here, but I am allowed into the woods uh, to take a bit of exercise. So today I thought I would show you guys my homemade bushcraft chair, the different ways to use it, and if you'd like to make one yourselves, how to do that. So let's get going. So luckily I managed to find an old kiddies shelter where I recycled four logs and we're going to make a tripod and we're going to have one log as a cross section to sit on. So I think let's get that rope out and I'll show you guys how I make my lash in. So the first thing I've done is level up the bottom of the three poles because those are my bases. And the next thing I'm going to do is start off with a clove hitch and we're going to end off with a clove hitch as well. Um, a clove hitch can be done by making two loops and put the one loop behind the other and just feed it on. And as you can see, there's our clove hitch. But how I teach my cubs and scouts to do it is to actually go over the log and make a cross. We've got a nice cross there and then just take the end piece and put it under the cross and that's the same thing. So we'll use that. We're going to go over and under. We just want to move this down a bit. And we're going to go over and under and just weave the actual lashing. Every time you go to an end, just to make sure it's tight and push it down. So nice and tight. Nice and tight, push it down. After I've got about three or four loops, I can then go ahead and actually tighten them up. So by tightening up, you just need to open up the poles so it can get through. And we want to bring it through this way. One. Tighten to tighten three, and then do the same thing on the other side. So there is the lash in a little bit closer. You can see I've lashed over, under, over, under, over, under, until I've got about three or four loops. And then I've just gone around the insides and we're gonna finish off with a clove hitch, which I showed you, we're gonna go over and make a nice cross. Got a nice cross there. And then we're gonna bring it out under again. And we're going to put the working end under the cross. 
and that's our clove hitch and you can just pull it round to tighten it up. So let's put it up and see what it looks like. That looks nice and strong. <laughs> so this is the bushcraft chair. I've got a little bag for it. Bags are not difficult to make. They're actually quite easy to make. So I'll pull it out and show you. It's just a ripstop fabric. Can I just move a little bit back? So as you can see, it's just a rectangle of fabric at the top and the bottom. You can see it's double stitched to form a little loop where we put a string through it. Got some paracord through it. At the bottom, I've also put a string through it, but the loop is about two inches wide. I'll actually put the diameters, um, so the length I'll put down here and the breadth I'll put down here. The size of the loop for the small one just got to fit through a paracord and the big one is two inches. So <laughs> let's see how it works. So you leave the big loop at the bottom. Small loop, tighten it up like a hammock. Nice and scrunched up. The best knot to use at the top is just a slip knot. So make a loop, double that over and pull it through. Do that again, make a loop double that over and pull it through. Where we put the tension is below the loop over here and that will hold pretty much anything. So as you can see, I've just popped the loop over the center pole. For the bottom loop, I've got a nice pole with no branches sticking out, so it's pretty smooth. And I'm gonna feed that through my big loop at the bottom. So as you can see, I've opened up the tripod a bit to give it more of a wide angle, um, so it's more a line-on chair. I've evened it out, and <laughs> here it goes. So that is it, it actually works really well. Um, the trick of this bushcraft chair is get the angles out a bit so you're hanging more like a hammock. Otherwise what happens is this part here tends to get very shallow. If you understand what I mean, it doesn't give you place to actually put your bum. So they ask me how else can we put up something like this? Well, let me show you.
So that's about it. What about a bag? How to make a bag? You always start with your bag inside out. Um, I had to use two pieces of fabric and put them together, but normally you would just fold your piece of fabric like that and sew up the sides. But the first thing you do before you sew up the sides is you sew a loop in the top. I've made a double fold there so it doesn't fray. You have a look, you can see there's a little fold underneath there. So you can try that if you want. So you first do your loop and then you sew up your two sides and then you turn it inside out and you've got a bag. <laughs> it's not rocket science. If you've got a wife or a girlfriend or a partner that has a sewing machine, ask them to help you with it. Otherwise, you could sew it by hand. It's pretty easy. Just double stitch if you're doing it by hand. And that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, and are staying well. So thanks very much and God bless everyone.